All right, what is up everybody and welcome back. I know it's been a little while since I've posted a video uh, Just doing a lot of stuff uh, Trying to stay busy here and dealing with the car of course um, Good I did a few other things on here, but um, I'm kind of narrowing things down a little bit more But the more I keep taking off and looking through nothing's really curing the problem, but uh, so far I went ahead and went through the car again, and I took off the whole entire uh, flex harness. Uh, I took everything off, so there's nothing on here except the uh, flex sensor itself. That's still just plugged in so the fuel can get through it. Um, but after that, I kind of just stopped there. I'm still trying to look through some stuff here. I can't really figure it out while I keep getting a map sensor code. Um, on cold starts not sure why yet but I am going to take it and get it uh, hooked up to star go through the whole system see if something uh, will pop up on there um, I may have to up the idle a little bit on the vehicle as well um, it seems like it is kind of on the low side a little bit um, so we'll see if that <clears throat> that fixes anything at all um, I went ahead and redid well, I got a new water pump put on as well on this thing I uh, did a new water pump uh, thermostat and housing and a uh, serpentine idler uh, pulley all new genuine parts Mercedes uh, so that's all been done um, the car it drives great right now it's still just that stupid map code but I did uh, I did post the car for sale um it's been sold for a couple couple weeks now i think i mean just over a week um but yeah i am i'm kind of i'm kind of done with the car as of right now um just going back and forth with this i need something a little more uh reliable and i'm kind of done with the whole modifying oh well to a certain extent um but yeah i've been kind of putting things online, trying to see what uh, offers I can get. Um, it seems like I got a uh, an offer. Um, actually, it'll be another car for a trade for this. Um, you guys will have to wait to find out because I'm not 100% sure if it's going to go through just yet. Um, I got to, first I have to actually put on, I ordered new parts. Uh, I have to put on a rear main crank seal um, before it goes. So I know that's been leaking actually pretty bad lately, so I have to take care of that. Nonetheless, I want to take care of it regardless, um, but at least it'll be all done. Uh, parts front to back have been replaced. Everything's new. Uh, I know it kind of sucks wanting to trade it now, but I think it's just time to move on for something different. Try something else. Um, it's been probably just over four years now since I've had this car. Um, it did me good. I put probably 25,000 miles on it since I've got it. Um, not, not a whole lot of mileage, but after spending, you know, roughly thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in maintenance and upgrades for those four years, I think it's time to, to let it go at this point before I, I go into more debt with it. But yeah, <laughs> nonetheless, that's, uh, that's the car life though. But yeah, guys, I mean, the car runs and drives, um, actually pretty well right now uh it's just still it seems like from 1500 rpm and below is where it's kind of hesitating um but other than that it's it's golden <clears throat> so we'll see what happens here i wanted to give you guys a little update i know it's been a while um i got all the new stuff put on checking things out um yeah they they did send me uh eflex did send me a new uh, module and upgraded a uh, plus module but I can't tune it, neither can uh, Race IQ. Uh, they can't tune that. Um, you have to use uh, eFlex's software, uh, and they kind of go, it's just a weird thing, so I'm just, I'm kind of over it all right now. But um, the car is on 93 right now. Uh, it's tuned, but I have to do another log. I have to get another wide open throttle log for him uh, just to be sure everything is okay. Uh, after going through all this stuff, kind of just need to get through things real well, finally, a fine tune again. Try to see if there's any interruptions in the log. But yeah, um, gonna be sad seeing this thing go. If it does, um, 
had a lot of fun with it. Also a lot of uh, terribleness with it <laughs> as well. But yeah, guys, I uh, don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, I just wanted to fill everybody in with uh, what's been going on. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers. Uh, I really do appreciate it and all the comments. Um, I do, I like this platform, but I want to try something different now. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the car that uh, I'll hopefully be getting, um, it's pretty cool. It's all-wheel drive. Um, I will say that it is a four-cylinder. It's a four-cylinder turbo. So it's it's not a, a bad car. Obviously, I wouldn't be trading this beast for something that I couldn't do something with. So the other car can put down some power as well. Um, but for now, that's it, guys. Yeah. So, so far, this is it. Um, my next video, hopefully, we'll see if uh, I'll probably put another one out with the uh, crank, uh, uh, rear main crank seal. I could probably get some videos on that. Um, I'll try. Um, I'll be in a hurry, but uh, I'll try to get some clips of that um, to show you guys. But um, other than that, uh, hopefully if the trade goes through, I will reveal the new car. And it will be fun. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty fun car, though, overall. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, like it and uh, continue watching my videos. Um, we'll still, uh, still be getting some more videos out here. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, keep it entertaining. And again, thank you guys for uh, for watching, subscribing, commenting. I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.